In this example, if I click on search, I'll get an exception error. So this is the exception that's happening down here. Uh, of course, if I type in all, I get back all the data. Okay. So the whole idea is that I want to, I want to basically disable this button by default. And then as the user types in something, we'll enable it. Okay. So that's the goal. So let's close this. Uh, I want to make sure I'm focused on this project. So I'll do a go into, and I'm going to open this up in scene builder. Okay, so by default, I'm going to click, I'm going to focus on the button. Let's make it disabled. Uh, I'm searching for the word disabled and inspector. Click here on this checkbox. By default, it'll be disabled. Now, what I want to happen is as the user is releasing the key, I want to count how many keystrokes that this person has done so far. So let's set that up. I'll find this guy right here. Now I'm on the text box. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the event I'm looking for is uh, on key released. And I'll call this key typed. Oh, you know what, now let me keep it consistent on released that way I follow their naming convention okay mm. I want to make this a little longer I want to put a label here spelling label wrong well, let's copy that down here increase that I've got enough real estate so let me bring this down okay let's give this a name so we can code against it and that name will be LBL message for the message. Save it. Okay. And I'm going to do one more thing here. Here I'll add a, another message. I'll do a control C, control V, and just bring that guy bring this guy right here and this doesn't really need a name I'm not going to code against it at all uh, I'm just going to put here uh, enter in all to display all rows Okay, let's save that. Not do a preview, just to see what it looks like. Mm, no big deal. Label, I really don't need to say the word label, so I'll delete that. Okay, let's save it. And now we got our graphical user interface working. The next step now is to actually get the code to work with this. So the goal now is to, as the user types in, this will be enabled. If there is no data, this will be disabled. That's the goal. All right, with that, good luck and good coding.